Dear students, now we are going to discuss measurement of VSWR on transmission line. Let's start with the definition of VSWR that is voltage standing wave ratio. It is defined as the ratio of the magnitudes of the maximum voltage to the minimum voltage of the standing waves which are present on a transmission line. The standing wave consists of maximum voltage and minimum voltage along the line. The ratio of Vmax to Vmin is known as standing wave ratio. Okay. There are four methods used to measure the VSWR on the transmission line. Open wireline method, coaxial cable, directional coupler and reflectometer. Okay. The first one is open wireline method. In this method, a sliding contact voltmeter is used to measure the voltage values at different points along the line. So here we can see the voltmeter which is connected with the sliding contacts. So sliding contacts are attached with the transmission line. It is a movable one. Okay. So we can measure several values of maximum voltage along the line at different points and take the average value as an appropriate maximum voltage. Do you all understand this one? Similarly, V-mean value can also be measured at different points and take that average value. Then V-max and V-mean values are used to measure the VSWR value using the formula VSWR is equal to V-max by V-mean. Okay. So the next method is SWR for coaxial cable. This is the block diagram for this coaxial cable method. For coaxial cable, a length of line with a long slot is used to measure the maximum and minimum values. The signal source which can produce the signal to this coaxial probe and it is perfectly matched with the impedance Okay, to avoid any reflection. Pad is the any resistive element which can absorb any reflected waves from the receiving end. Okay. So next probe with slotted line. This is very very important one. So here we can consider a length of coaxial line with a long slot. Okay. So we can connect the detector to this coaxial probe through this slotted line. Do you all understand this point? So from this detector we can get the values of maxima and minima using voltmeter. That's what given clearly in this diagram. So this is the probe with slaughter line. So the coaxial cable which is having a slot on the top. Okay. We can connect this movable probe on this slot and connect that detected output to this voltmeter. Voltmeter which is connected to this probe is used to calculate the voltage levels at different points. So here the probe is moved along the slotted line and take the samples of the voltages at different points. From that we can get the maximum voltage and minimum voltage. Then we can measure the standing wave ratio using the formula Vmax by Vmin. Okay. The next method is directional coupler method. It is a device which is used to measure the standing waves directly from the cable. Okay. So here we can consider a coaxial cable with two small holes in its outer sheet spaced by lambda by 4. Okay. So the distance between these two holes is lambda by 4. Then we can connect the directional coupler through these holes with this coaxial cable. Some of the energy in the coaxial cable is passing through this directional coupler in both the sides, left side and right side. Okay, so the energy which is traveling it towards this right hand side is known as incident wave. The energy which is traveling through this left hand side is known as reflected wave. Do you all understand this one? From this we can calculate the value of reflected voltage and incident voltage using voltmeter. Do you all understand this concept? Simply the device consists of a coaxial cable and the directional coupler voltmeter. So from this we can calculate VR and VI values. 
okay in the main line to the right is an incident wave to the left is an reflected wave so by using the formula k is equal to br by vi we can get the reflection coefficient from that we can calculate the standing wave ratio as 1 plus k by 1 minus k this is also equal to vi plus vr divided by vi minus vr okay so we can directly calculate the standing waves using directional coupler method the last method is swr measurements using reflectometer in general the voltage on the transmission line consists of two voltages incident voltage and reflected voltage so both are traveling in opposite direction by separating this incident voltage and reflected voltage we can easily measure the standing wave ratio correct so here we can use this bridge circuit to separate the incident voltage and reflected voltage so this is the diagram of reflectometer so it consists of your source voltmeter and one bridge circuit this bridge circuit is used for measuring the standing waves by separating the incident voltage and reflected voltage okay in this bridge circuit if r1 is equal to r2 then rs is equal to ri that is the balanced circuit that's what given here if R1 is equal to R2, then the bridge circuit is balanced one, that is Ri is equal to Rs. Ri is the input resistance of perfectly matched line that is equal to the characteristics impedance R0. Similarly, Rs is also equal to R0. Here, incident voltage Va may be measured by disconnecting this input resistance and the reflected voltage may be measured using the voltmeter. Finally, we can get the incident voltage and reflected voltage. Then we can get the value of the standing wave using this formula. Okay.